Artificial intelligence and robotics have been viewed as the next game changer after electricity and all other inventions made possible by it. The future that we've seen in the movies where humanoid robots help relieve humans of arduous tasks seems just around the corner. Welcome to another episode of AI and Robots. We'll be making a comparison of two humanoid robots that could define the future of robotics. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Kick back, relax, and enjoy. As AI tech advances and technologies improve, scientists have come to think that crafting humanoid robots is the next logical step. In response to this, loads of demonstrations from different companies have cropped up over the years. An example of this is Boston Dynamics' Atlas and Tesla's Optimus robot. Boston Dynamics is arguably the leader in humanoid robotics and has been testing their tech for almost a decade. The company, previously owned by SoftBank, was acquired by Hyundai Motor Group in June. Their humanoid Atlas robots have undergone several trials to test their agility and motion in different environments. Boston Dynamics is also well known for developing a series of dynamic, highly mobile robots including Big Dog, Spot, Atlas, and Handle. Since 2019, Spot has been made commercially available, making it the first commercially available robot from Boston Dynamics. The company has stated its intent to commercialize other robots, including Handle. The bipedal humanoid robot Atlas from their line of robots is a YouTube sensation with the capability of very sophisticated motion that mimics advanced human movements such as dancing. To show the latest developments, the company puts Atlas through a parkour course, demonstrating how the sensor suit and algorithms adapt to the local environment. The robot was made with the intention of providing emergency services and search and rescue operations, performing tasks such as shutting off valves, opening doors, and operating powered equipment in environments where humans could not survive. Atlas's advanced control system and state-of-the-art hardware have given the robot the power and balance to demonstrate human-level agility. It is also designed to operate both outdoors and inside buildings and has whole-body dynamic balancing. Atlas is able to sense obstacles and negotiate rough terrain autonomously or via teleoperation. This robot is electrically powered and hydraulically actuated. After repeatedly warning about the dangers of artificial intelligence and sparring with fellow tech billionaires on the issue, Elon Musk wants to create AI-powered humanoid robots. Musk made a shocking announcement on Tesla's AI Day. The much-anticipated AI Day was held on August 19, 2021, and two key announcements were noteworthy. One is the development of a scalable and modular processor array for the company's Dojo supercomputer program but the other is perhaps more significant, a human-like program. Musk announced that the firm would be hiring talent for the robotics program immediately and expects to produce a human-sized, bipedal, and useful machine, with the prototype being ready in 2022. It's a very ambitious timeline and much depends on the success of Dojo. The Tesla CEO revealed the Tesla bot during the event devoted to advances in artificial intelligence. Described as the next generation of automation on the Tesla website, the humanoid robot is capable of performing tasks that are unsafe, repetitive, or boring. That makes sense as many jobs are needing to be done, but humans don't want to do them. Musk says, what is the economy? At the foundation, it is labor, he said during the event. So what happens when there is no shortage of labor? Musk hopes to have a prototype ready for release next year. He also noted that the robot, which is 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds, would not be physically threatening. At a mechanical level, at a physical level, you can run away from it and most likely overpower it, Musk said to laughter during the presentation. Although he got a dancer in a suit to showcase the appearance of the robot since it was just a concept at that moment. Musk drove his points in further by explaining how this robot is the natural evolution of the tech at Tesla. Tesla is arguably the biggest robotics company because our cars are semi-sentient robots on wheels, he boasts. It makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. We're also quite good at sensors and batteries and actuators, so we think we'll probably have a prototype sometime next year that basically looks like this, he said. Tesla will repurpose some of its autonomous vehicle AI devices. Autopilot cameras will become the bot's eyes, while its body will be made up of a self-driving computer. 
It will also use multi-camera video neural networks while neural network planning, labeling, simulation, and tools will be used to help it perform tasks accurately. To be clear, this robot is still years away. Even Elon, who is known for his optimistic timelines, hopes to have a prototype sometime next year. Once Tesla has a prototype, it will take some time to become a truly finished product. Nonetheless, here are the planned specs of their new robot. Height, 5 feet 8 inches. Weight, 125 pounds. Speed, 5 miles per hour. Carry capacity, 45 pounds. Deadlift, 150 pounds. Arm extends lift, 10 pounds. The robot will make use of the same full self-driving computer in Tesla cars and make use of much of the same artificial intelligence as the cars. It relies on training from their Dojo supercomputer and uses autopilot cameras in the robot's head. The FSD computer, according to the render, takes up the majority of the robot's slim torso. According to Boston Dynamics, Atlas is simply a way to push the cutting edge of robotics. It's not even close to commercial deployment. In recent videos of the machine, the company showed how difficult building a bipedal robot is and how often Atlas trips and falls. It's also worth noting that Boston Dynamics has been working on Atlas and its bipedal predecessors for more than a decade. Despite all its capabilities, a video of the robots falling and tumbling over was posted online to show how tough it was for the robot to adapt the courses set for it. However, the Tesla bot has received backlash as some believe Tesla's self-proclaimed techno king is trying to leapfrog the whole process of making their own humanoid. The self-driving tech to be utilized in the robot has proved less than fully reliable. Crashes and fatalities associated with Tesla's autopilot mode, the latest having to do with the algorithms struggling to recognize parked emergency vehicles, are calling into question the wisdom of releasing the tech into the wild so soon. In the process, Tesla may end up being the first company that creates robots such as the Tesla bot, but highly unlikely in the time frame Musk proposes. So. What time frame could be more realistic? In an interview for Reuters, Raj Rajkumar, a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Carnegie Mellon University, was asked that same question. He said he was fairly certain that it will be much longer than 10 years before a humanoid bot from any company on the planet can go to the store and get groceries for you. Carl Barry, a lecturer in robotics engineering at the UK's University of Central Lancashire, had things to say too. Calling it crap sounds generous, frankly. I'm not saying that he shouldn't be doing research like this, but it's the usual overblown hype. Barry stressed that deploying robotics and AI in manufacturing usually required making the simplest machine possible, not the most complex. I'm not saying Tesla researching this stuff isn't a good thing, he said, but between them and companies like Boston Dynamics, they leave the public with unrealistic expectations of what robotics is currently capable of or will be for many years. In the end, the jury is still out on Tesla making the deadline for their bot to function as promised. That's all for today. Do you think Tesla has what it takes to pull this off? Do you think Tesla can catch up to Boston Dynamics level anytime soon? You can leave your answers in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.